Okay, we're going to try a third time. Somebody said the third time is a charm. And a threefold cord, the scripture says, is not easily broken. So, Mr. Blake Cook, are you on the line this time for real? I am. Did the third time work? Man, there he is, Blake Cook. Awesome. Awesome. Well, it's so good to hear your voice, Marcus. Okay, well, I, Joni and I are being your advocate today about your ad, and uh, we've encouraged people to call ESPN and uh, to stand up for what is right. We still have freedom of speech in America, and we still have freedom of religion in America. But the thing about it is your ad didn't say anything about religion or any political party or any candidate. So I'm, I'm really disappointed that they didn't allow that ad to be aired on ESPN. Yeah, that's the way to sum it all up. It's just disappointing that uh, my faith in Jesus Christ affects whether or not my sponsor can air a commercial or not. You know, that just doesn't make sense to me. But, um, you know, that's all I really can say of the whole thing. It's just that, you know, uh, on Fox and Friends this morning, they asked me if I was going to tone down my religious beliefs to get a sponsor. And I said, absolutely not. Okay, well, I have recorded the, your interview to watch it later today. And I've already heard from people who have seen it. And so uh, you, you told them that you were not going to back down on being bold in your faith. Is that correct? Absolutely not. I mean, I love, I mean, I love God more than I love racing. So to put God aside to get on the racetrack, something that's just not going to happen. And, and I believe someone's going to come and, and accept me for who I am and, and a man of Christ. And, and uh, people support me, and I appreciate it. I mean, you guys support me. You've been along for my entire career, and I just really appreciate it. Well, Blake, we love you and we're proud of you and appreciate not only that you're a, a great race car driver, but that you do stand up for the Lord. And you know, ESPN shouldn't shy away from that because look, did you know that the number one jersey sold in the NFL last year was Tim Tebow? I didn't know that, that but I can the, believe it. That was the number one jersey sale, his number 15. And then how wild were people going about Jeremy Lin, the young Asian uh, basketball player for the New York Knicks. And you know what Jeremy Lin has said? When I leave the NBA, I want to be a pastor. He is oh, bold awesome. in his faith. So I, I, yeah. I can't understand. I don't understand this about ESPN at all. Uh, they're, they're giving so much attention to Tebow and to Lin and to others, and rightfully so. And but plus, your ad didn't say anything about religion. It didn't say anything about a political party or a candidate. So I want to one more time put up the information for people to contact ESPN. Blake Cook is not saying to do this. Marcus Lamb is. So if there's any fallout from this, let it be on me, because I'm saying it as the head of Daystar that I think it was that, that it was wrong. And we do want people to be nice when they call ESPN, but just call and let your voice be heard. You're an individual, and you can say whatever you want to. So, Blake, any other comment before we go? Hey, I just want to recognize the fact that how God works and, and turns into what we thought might be a negative situation, our commercial not being played on ESPN, to turning into a situation where I can just speak about him in front of millions of people and share the love of Christ. So God always has a plan for us. He's got my back and, and just so pumped to be in this situation. Well, Blake, you have such a great attitude and I appreciate that, that you're being positive about this. And I want to say to people that are out there watching, especially for business owners, Blake, as a result of this action by ESPN, has lost his sponsor. Yeah. And so he, yeah. you're in need of a sponsor for your race car. And uh, I can just tell you that it's very effective uh, because people will see well, whoever sponsors it on ESPN, on ABC, on uh, the Speed Channel, et cetera. And uh, so if you're a business owner uh, and if you'd like to consider uh, sponsoring Blake there on, in NASCAR, then uh, you can go, let's show, can we show Blake's website? Can we do that? And you can go to that website, blakecook.com, I think is still what it is. And that's spelled yeah. K-O-C-H, is that correct? That's correct. 
Okay, I got it. You got it. Oh, thank you so much, Marcus and Joni. I really look forward to seeing you guys when I head there for the Texas race in a week or so. Okay, we we hope you're gonna get to we're gonna get to see you, and I hope you'll get to be on celebration to give us an update and to share your testimony.